So how do you clear your cache on a Mac and save a ton of space? Let's find out. All right, so this is gonna be a short video. What I wanna to do today is just show you, what it, first of all, what is a cache file and what are we gonna be clearing? Well, cache, everyone probably knows, for instance, like you can clear your cache and let's say you're on a browser like Chrome or Internet Explorer, you know how to go up and kind of clear your history or your cache files that way. But when's if you wanna kind of clear them for all the applications that you have on your Mac? Number one, it's gonna save a lot of space in a lot of cases, depending on how old that Mac is. And number two, I mean, I guess, do you really need that stuff in there? I mean, uh, you know, some people don't want to be tracked and stuff. That's not really the main thing. It's for me, it's really just saving space. But um, but a cache is basically going to be just information that's not really required or needed, but it just helps maybe applications load faster because you tend to use that more often, or websites load faster and things to that nature, like graphics that you maybe look at all the time, like family pictures that might cache those so they come up faster. Now, granted. You may never look at them again and that cache might just sit there. So a lot of times I like to clear the cache just to kind of help that stuff out. Anyways, without further ado, I'm going to get into it and show you kind of how to do this. And uh, we'll go from there and then just wait for me on the flip side and I'll kind of wrap everything up. All right, so the first thing you want to do to get into this is let's go ahead and you want to go to your desktop. Make sure you click on your desktop and it should say Finder up here in the upper left hand corner. But make sure you're on your desktop. Go ahead and click on Command, Shift, and G all at once. Command, Shift, G. And this should come up, tilde slash library. You can see it there. Another way to get to this screen if you don't like the shortcuts is you can just make sure to click on your desktop. You can go back up to uh, Finder up here. Go to the Go menu, see it right there, click on it. Go all the way down to Go To Folder, click on it, and you can see it's the exact same thing. The next thing you want to do here is you want to go ahead and add a, another slash there just like this, and then type in C-H-A caches, just like that. Oops. It would help if I actually could spell just like that, and then you want to click go. So basically what it did is it actually went ahead and it um, you know, lists everything that's going to be in your cached folder. You can see it up here, caches, you can see the folder right there. Um, I'll open this up a little bit more. It's going to have all the programs that actually have cache files in them. So this is the starting point that you want to be at, and then let's go on from here. All right, so what I like to do in here is these, you know, obviously these are all applications. I go to something like, let's just check Firefox. I'm going to click on Firefox. This, these are the cache files for it. So if you go ahead and just click on it, then right, use the right mouse button, click Get Info right here. You're going to see up here, I don't know if you can see this, but this one in particular uses 90.5 megabytes. So, I mean, it's a fair amount of space. So what we can do is all we have to do is we can go ahead and right click on it and put Move the Trash. Perfect. Now Google obviously is going to be a bigger one. You can see the individual files. There's, you know, it's really Chrome underneath here. So if you go ahead and click on this again, you can go ahead and click Get Info. This one in particular is 743 megabytes. 743 megabytes. So if you do remove that though, you know, obviously it's going to affect some of the cache that's in inside of Chrome, but it shouldn't affect anything beyond that. Um, maps, for instance. Let's just go ahead and check some of these out. Get it. Oops. I, I click rename accidentally. Get info on maps. Let's go ahead and check that out. 4K, so almost nothing. So you can see there's a quite a bit of difference on these. Um, a lot of times I just like to drag all these and you know into the trash, and then you can go ahead. It's going to recreate them. Then if you have an application that's open though, the folder may not go away, but everything else should go away, and then it'll basically be recreated once you open up the app again. So that's kind of how it works. I don't have a lot of stuff in iTunes. I'm just seeing if I can find anything else in here that might be fairly large. So let's just see how much cache files we actually have. A good way to do that is if you go back up. I showed you earlier. You can kind of click on the desktop, click on Go and then go to go to folder here. It's gonna bring up, remember this here where it says library caches. Let's remove caches to there, just like that. Let's delete that and click enter. So here we are, it's gonna obviously, you know, list all your folders now. Now all you have to do is find the caches folder, see it right here, right click on it and click get info. So realistically, the easiest thing to do now is I have, you know, if I did remove everything, I'd have 909 megabytes removed. Again, a lot of that was Chrome, you could see, um, almost most of it or almost all of it. So if you're kind of weary about deleting everything, maybe you can see what, I don't know, what percentage of some of those apps actually uh, are and just delete those. But really it shouldn't cause any harm, but you can, you know, do your own research, but it's just cache files. Um, anyways, that's how this works. If you wanna get the entire amount, you know, 909, I would remove from my system. You may have obviously differing amounts depending on how you use applications. All right, so what did you think? 
Not too bad, I agree. So it's a pretty easy process and it's something that you do just to kind of save some space. Definitely read some things about it. I mean, I don't want to tell people to, to delete cash and stuff if they don't want to. Some things that might be beneficial with and you can go, at, you know, there's tons of websites on what it is online. So before you jump into it, maybe try a couple different applications first before deleting everything. And uh, But generally speaking, it's fairly safe. And like I said, I do it just because I like to clear all that junk out, save some space. You know, I'm one of those people that just really likes to kind of save space on my computers just so I have it later on, you know, when I need it. So anyways, post comments in, you know, in my, you know, not, not my description, but post comments in my video if you can of other ideas that I can maybe do a quick, you know, quick little note on. And uh, we'll keep making these. Hopefully these help a little bit and, you know, hopefully people like them. Um, anyways, I try my best. I make a couple videos a week on all different technology. A lot of Apple stuff, though. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.